Today we're going to be installing additional protection underneath this vehicle. In the last video we installed this front um, skid plate that goes underneath the engine. Now we're going to be installing the protection underneath the transfer case. Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, I'm Jimmy Jett, and if you like building Toyotas and going off-roading, then this is the channel for you. Today we're going to be installing the RCI skid plate. This one goes underneath the transmission. This is the second skid plate in their full skid package. Um, this one is actually super beefy. It's got supports underneath it, and it's got a great um, secure location for the bolt holes that are in the back side. Um, if you're looking at skid plates, these are a great addition to your vehicle. We're installing the quarter inch aluminum versions, but they also have a 3 16 steel. Um, these ones are powder coated clear, but you can also get them powder coated black as well. So the first thing we need to do is get this vehicle up on jack stands, which we've already done. We are actually going to need to loosen the rear end of this, um, the or the engine skid plate so that we can slide that skid plate for the transmission underneath the other one. So here on the transmission skid plate, you can see they added this beefy um, rail on the in underside here, and this is going to help it prevent from any bowing. If there's any contact on there, it's just a huge structural part. And then on the underside, you have these um, rings around where the bolts go, and that's if you do slide across a rock, you're going to be um, dragging up and over the bolt and the bolt won't get much damage. So it's really cool to see they're thinking ahead, um, thinking of protecting the bolt and, you know, um, the ease of changing these things out if you want. Uh, uh, the aluminum ones aren't quite as strong as the steel ones are, um, but these are pretty dang beefy skid plates. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to remove these two bolts here and then the same two on the other side. These are 12 millimeters. We're going to take those out and discard those bolts. We're not going to need them again. RCI provides us with hardware for that location. Then here on the front, we're going to, um, well, the front of this, the skid plate we're installing, we need to loosen these two bolts here on the back of the um, front skid plate, um, roughly about a quarter inch. And what we're going to do is we're going to slide the new skid plate underneath this one. So it's, we've got to have a gap in there. Um, so that's what we're up to now. We're going to pull these guys out. All right. So now what we're doing is we're actually going to lift this up into place. Um, we are going to put the side with the notch on it above the skid plate on this side but below the nylon locks or the nylon spacers so what we're going to do is i'm going to help hold this up into place let's line it up try not to smash your fingers Again. oh there we go cool let's leave that loose now we got these big 50 meter millimeter bolts and we'll screw them up back here we got four bolts to do back here what size are these are these these are 13s as well or half inch and then we're going to tighten these down to factory torque specs which is roughly 22 foot pounds so that transmission skid plate went on super easy, super excited. Thanks to RCI for providing these skid plates. Thanks for Trail4R for providing the Forerunner. This was awesome. In the next video, we're going to be installing the transfer case skid plate. And that one goes on right behind the um, transmission. That's the third skid plate in the full skid plate set. Uh, thanks for watching. Hammer down on that subscribe button. And don't forget, keep crawling.